So you might have missed the last episode in which we've reached the point of no return in Mass Effect 3, which means that we're right at the end of the game. And because of that, if I go do the Elusive Man's base um, quest or mission or whatever you want to call it, that is just going to initiate the essentially the end of the game. And I'm not ready to do that yet. We've got a handful of side missions that I want to do, like the Cerberus fighter base. We're just going to jump in and do this one. And I, I, I want to try to clear out as many of these as possible. Some of them are going to be, honestly, like, I'm just, I'm not going to lie. Some of them are going to be a little boring. Some of them are just going to be kill a bunch of dudes. Although that is fun to do as the Vanguard, not going to lie. But some of them are also just going to be kind of boring. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Uh, should we just swap out? I really need to swap out their weapons. I, I've been meaning to do this and I keep forgetting to do it. Like I want to give her that awesome pistol and her shotgun really should be something. I don't know. Maybe the, the katana is actually not a bad option. Uh, I don't know because she had the katana before, but Claymore is also a pretty good option. I'm just going to give her the Claymore. Do I really need to? I'm not even going <laughs> to bother with the modifications. Uh, she has the pistol, but her SMG, I want to give her. Do I want to give her the Tempest or the Locust? Let's give her Locust. They're not really doing any damage anyways. Like, I'm not worrying about the damage they're doing. They're purely support <laughs> for us at this point. They are purely support. Uh, hack duration or increases damage take by 30% when enemy weapons overheat. Ooh, yeah, sure. Let's do that. Because that allows us to do more damage. Again, they are my support characters. They're not actually doing anything other than making me do more damage. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Good luck, Commander. I have visual contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's gotta be now. Let's do it. This is gonna be one of those just kill a bunch of things missions. Again, not a problem. It's fun to kill a bunch of things, but but it's it's also just killing a bunch of things. Like this is legitimately just one of the multiplayer maps. <laughs> That's where we're at now. We're just doing multiplayer stuff. Hey you! <laughs> is there a guy there? Th oh, there he is. That was really odd. I was not expecting. Like, I saw a dude, but I was not expecting him to still be there. Hey, die. Are we are we good? I, gotta, I just gotta dive in on these guys and kill these as quick as possible. We should be able to knock two or three missions out today, um, which is a fairly large chunk of our backlog. Wow, I just had a weird deja vu of this particular map. I played this map a lot when Mass Effect 3 first came out, doing multiplayer stuff. Um, it ended up being one of the easier ones to defend on in, um, I guess it was Collectors and Reapers. Or not Collectors, was it Reapers? So finding Reapers and then there was something else that we would fight on this one. I don't think it was Cerberus. Maybe it was Cerberus. I, I, it never matters. Anyways, it was really easy to defend. Looks like we found the control center. Oh, stuck. Like this little spot right here right out here was a really easy defense point because you could lock yourself down in this little corner here and fight on both sides it was, it was nice it was really nice i can i can appreciate the weird memories i have of that i don't think i'm gonna find any stuff back here Ooh, med kit sure not that 100 experience is really doing much for us at this point we're so like blasted out on experience this will take a while Um, I'm gonna have Tally do it. She's all yours, Tally. Got it. I'd, I'd rather have the biotic explosions from Lyra. Commander, you're gonna get swarmed. Commander, I've been flushed from cover, retreating to minimum safe distance. No problem. Cortez, get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Really, I just need to defend Tally. So, 
it's gonna be a matter of Shepherds, we've lost outside communication. Yeah. Just bring down their defenses. We'll worry about that later. Oh, big old bionics explosion. That was fun. <laughs> so this is just gonna be a matter of going back and forth to the doors, I think, to defend Tally. Oh man, that is so satisfying. I love this gun. Oh, hello. It's like shooting Cerberus in a barrel. Are we good? Shepard, we need to give the shutdown command in tandem. Okay, here we go. Defense system deactivated. General order seven slash seven triggered. Establish contingency defenses. It's like Shepard, launching a nuclear bomb. You know, bo both people need to turn the key. Hey, you. <laughs> I mean, the shotgun just absolutely lays those guys out. The Centurions ain't got nothing on me. Oh, oh, that is a turret, though. That is a turret. Let's do that. Get that back up. Let's kill him with the gun. Let's move around. Oh, I whiffed, but the fire will do the job. I don't really want to have to get in there with the engineer. I hate those turrets. So I think it's going to be a little easier just to clear the dropping guys out. And I guess we can... I mean, if I, if I get another shot off on it, it should die. There we go. But there's a second turret. That's the problem. <laughs> hey, you. Bad turret. I, I just gotta get a little closer. Uh, maybe maybe a little, little closer. Hello. <laughs> Oh, I love being a Vanguard. Sentinel. It's pretty cool, too. But, uh, that's more of a support class. So, I, I really like the Sentinel, and I really like the Infiltrator. But Vanguard has turned into my, my favorite class, for sure. Let's just get in there and get this done. This is this is the easy part. Ooh. Except when I get caught on a ship that's there. Because we just do. And then we do this. I don't know why my cooldown was really long there. I guess it still kind of is. It does feel like my cooldown is like really long right now. Well, that's better. Odd. Is it gonna blow up? Okay, it is. I think it's over, Shepard. That's not really challenging. Nothing worth mentioning. Copy that, Lieutenant. Coming in to pick you up. And we're done. <laughs> See what I mean? Where I'm like, ah, oh, some of these are be kind of boring. This was a major victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on Bitcom. Always is. Wow, another 10,000 credits. My goodness. All right, let's go get our next mission. You know what I've been up to the past uh, couple days? So I've mentioned it before, but like I've gotten into Star Wars Legion. I have a full uh, Galactic Republic um, army. I have a full Separatist army. So I got the droids and whatnot. But, you know, I also have been slowly collecting pieces for a Empire and Rebels army. But I also have pieces for the, uh, the Shadow Collective. And if you're not into Star Wars, all of this is just like just gibberish to you <laughs> but the cool thing with the shadow collective and this is for you non star wars fans out there uh, should we do the communications hub yeah i, I just kind of want to get that one cleared over there um it uh, it is it is a, a criminal faction so you don't get the normal like rebel stuff or empire stuff you get the pikes which if you saw the uh boba fett show the pikes are in there they're, they're ostensibly from the the Clone Wars uh, animated series and are really cool in it as like this like criminal faction although a little doofy <laughs> they're a little doofy 
but then you have the black sun again it's kind of like a like a mob and then you have the mandalorians commander cerberus has taken one of our secret communication facilities all campaigns in this theater depend on the information that dish array supplies what do we know we're getting intel from a tech who survived the attack grace sato she's hiding in a security bunker off site a civilian yes patching her through miss sato what's happening down there i'm staying here Hang in there. We'll be there soon. Yes. Yes, Commander. It's not ideal, but she's the only one with any traction on this. The information stored in that network is critical, Commander. If it gets into enemy hands, we'll lose a lot of good people. I'll take care of it, Admiral. See that you do. Hack it out. So the Mandalorians you get in the Shadow Collective are the Death Watch, which is the same faction that rescued Din Djarin, the Mandalorian from the, the titular show, The Mandalorian. And uh, they're they're super cool. So you get like all three of those units, plus Darth Maul, if you didn't know. Darth Maul, this is another multiplayer map. Okay, so if you didn't know, Darth Maul is actually not dead <laughs> in the prequel movies. He, he gets chopped up, right? So he gets hit by Obi-Wan, chopped in half, and he falls down a pit. And in the Clone Wars series, you find out that he, he goes down like a, like a junk thing and falls into this trash pit. Um, but kind of uh, rescues himself by like attaching himself to like this electrical like spider leg thing and the result is uh, later on he's found by a couple other characters and they they uh they cause Darth Maul to kind of fix his sanity because he's like super crazy from being in a trash heap Man, they're talking about stuff that doesn't matter, and so am I. But my stuff matters more than their stuff that doesn't matter. Is that weird? I think that's a little weird. So, yeah, so Darth Maul's not dead. And in fact, when Darth Maul comes, about, comes back, rather, he does it very clandestinely. And, and um, Obi-Wan ends up finding out about him. And heck, so does uh, Anakin. But they don't... They, they have bigger fish to fry. They don't end up going after him. And eventually, he begins... He uses his, like, wits... That, well, honestly, that he learned from from Palpatine when he was, you know, the, the apprentice to Palpatine. He uses his wits to essentially take over the criminal underworld. So he takes these criminal um, factions, the, the Pikes, the Black Sun, and Death Watch, and uh, puts them together. So he uses his might to kind of bring them together to, to accomplish a bunch of stuff that you know he essentially wants accomplished so he's he's like clandestinely um leading them which is really cool so he's the leader for the the shadow collective set that you can get for star wars legion i've been slowly putting those uh minis together i'll tell you what if you think painting minis takes a long time, man, assembling miniatures off of a sprue, I guess same thing goes for like Warhammer or other miniatures Ms. games. Miss Sato, come in. It takes so Ms. long. Miss Sato, are you there? She must be afraid they'll find her if she responds. We need the final coordinates. Grace, listen to me. Can't talk. They're right outside. I think get a grip is the weirdest thing here. It seems really out of context, but let's do it. Lose your nerve now, thousands will die. Now tell me what I need to know. Yes, yes, Commander. Updating your nav point with the last location now. But if you get to me in time, just hurry, please. Commander, I think I can make a run and get her. Do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cerberus hacking device. Okay, we can get up there. So I, yeah, I've been like spending my last couple nights I'll, I'll have like 10 or 15 minutes 
to spare before like I go to bed. I'm like, I'm just gonna like wind down for 10 or 15 minutes. I'm gonna assemble a miniature or two. It what always ends up happening is it takes me it takes me five minutes to sit down and get my like glue and stuff together and um, I like I have a, a specific hobby desk that I have in my office so it's it's not like it takes me forever to get it together it's just I gotta get you know get over to the desk I get comfortable maybe I put on a YouTube video I saw that there there you phantom bad oh I, I missed that was bad <laughs> that didn't miss though. So, you know, it takes me, it takes me a few minutes, it takes me about five minutes, I would say on average to be like, yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down and I'm ready to, to build some minis. And then it takes me another five minutes to freaking find the instructions because Atomic Mass Games, which took over from Fantasy Flight Games making Star Wars Legion, they just don't like printing. Like they have a printout that comes in the box, but it's just art and the credits. They don't actually have, annoyingly, the instructions of how to build things. You have to go online on their really bad website and figure it out. Can I do this from here? Am I going to get shot at? I should be able to, actually. Um, so that's another five minutes. So it's ten minutes of just kind of sitting down. And I'm expecting it every night. Good job, Lieutenant. So every night I'm like, okay, it's gonna take 20 minutes to, to make one of these. It Our never does. Our communication station is secure. Operations in this theater are safe again. No small task to keep it that way. How is Miss Sato doing? She has to be transferred to a nearby Alliance station. Looks like she isn't letting the Cerberus attack scare her off. I commend her for that. Hack it out. You know, Admiral Anderson is available on Bitcoin. These miniatures are fairly complex things that are broken down into fairly complex pieces and you're like you know clipping them off of a, a sprue which is like a you know they're attached to plastic and you're clipping them off of it at specific points in the in the plastic and like assembling it all together with plastic glue and whatnot and my goodness you think that it's going to take you you look at the model you go that'll take about 10 minutes to assemble and glue together and you get it done you get the model done you look at the time you're like why did it take 30 minutes to do that? How, where, where, did the, where did the 30 minutes go? I don't understand. <laughs> and it's like that every single time. So all the last few nights I've sat down and been like, I'm going to assemble these minis. I'm finally going to get all of my pikes assembled because I need the pikes for, weirdly, for my Republic list that I'm running, my Republic army. I'm using them as kind of a, a bit of a filler, but also because I'm kind of doing this like really cool strike team thing where I've well, actually that's a bad way to put it because there's a thing called a strike team in the game I'm doing like this um, like very strong hit and run tactic where you you have a ship that flies the units around to drop ship and moves them very quickly amongst the battlefield to where you need them to be so you could capture objectives or do whatever the objective is for that particular one so uh, the pikes are really good at this because I could drop them like in dangerous spots. They're really good at dodging so they don't take a, a bunch of damage and they're annoying to hit. So they kind of soak up a lot of shots against players who don't understand how they work or think that they can kill them and they can't because they just dodge everything. It's actually kind of annoying if you're on the opposite side of things. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? The mission brief doesn't say. Ma'am, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down and get out of here. I need these scientists alive. <laughs> what was that grunt for? Did they just bump into each other in the ship? That was really weird. <laughs> seen him in this game yet? I don't think we have. Or no, did we? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, 
Okay, defend the scientists. Pretty Easy peasy. Even for an outpost. All right, just keep moving. Did I? Okay, I'm kind of I'm kind of interested in this for a second. Am I going to be able to see my stuff? Um, no, I'm not. I. It doesn't look like I have the right weapon on, right? Does what that look like my claymore? It's definitely the right weapon. We it's just uh, weird. It doesn't look like it from the the side. Okay, I'm just freaking out here. Anyway, so essentially, long story short, <laughs> fairly long story short, I'm man. I'm really into Star Wars Legion. I'm not playing much. Just because I haven't had time, but like the the more that I clear out time, the more I'm gonna be playing. And like my local store has got some cool plans for it, so I'm uh, I'm looking forward to you know just playing some stupid stupid tabletop games with people who aren't really sweaty nerds. I mean, yeah, that's there's a lot saying that about Star Wars nerds, but man, the people who play Star Wars Legion are so much more chill than the people who play like Warhammer. I'll tell you what. Enemy clear. Did any civilians survive? I just leveled up to 60. Jacob, how bad? I'll live. I think. This is Bryn. If you can hear me, come in. Is there anyone there? This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Jacob, oh my God. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now, but they'll be back. Uh, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you, too. Good to see you landed on the right side of Cerberus. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. That's the same voice actress as one of the the two voices for the, the female Inquisitor in, in uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Hope you kick Cerberus in the balls on the way out the door. Alex, Alex, we took everything we could something. Carry. Destroyed what we couldn't. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. Oh, maybe it isn't. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. God, or maybe it is. Time to evacuate. It's the same voice as the Agreed. female. We just need to get the AA guns um, on the route back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. It's the same voice voice so, actress for Jacob Taylor is now ex um, too. Goodness, what's her name? I uh, uh Siri, right, from The Witcher. The Witcher 3 of Wild Hunt. And also the same voice actress for or the uh, female agent from Star Wars The Old Republic. Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer, we met on Project Overlord. I remember him. Way of putting it? Yes, well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. Uh, let him worry? Yeah. I don't know anything about that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. If anything happens to him, I... It's a little late to start caring about him now, don't you think? Yeah. David was all I had left. I hoped we might be reunited one day, that I could beg his forgiveness. It will never happen now. A precaution. 
if I was ever captured by the enemy, or couldn't wake from my nightmare. This guy's unstable. We both know this is the ending I deserve. God be with you, Commander. He was never with me. <laughs> is he seriously just gonna go kill himself? <gasps> okay, that was odd. Oh, I heard the gunshot. That was really weird interaction. Whatever. I don't really care. He did terrible things to his brother. Kind of deserved it a little bit. Yeah, we're using the right weapon. That was just really weird. It just didn't look right. Maybe it was like a color thing. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I think it was just a weird like color thing. And I, I don't even know if that's going to show up in the video. I think I can shake Make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. How did you get so many people out undetected? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? Goddess. So those refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... No second guessing. Let's just get these people the hell out of here. And not one more lost. We only get one shot at this, so people better pay attention and fall in line. Absolutely. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You in? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. I, I wonder how different this mission is if Jacob didn't survive the, the suicide. I actually didn't even consider that. Dr. Cole, got a moment? Of course. Uh, you and Jacob running from Cerberus. Let's figure out about her and her and Jacob. What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. I think I'm just gonna... Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. I, I really just Thank wanted to understand about them. You're doing for us. Because like, yeah, w w would this be significantly different if he wasn't alive? I don't know. Personal log, uh, Bryn Cole. With Jacob's help, we've managed to ascertain that several of our colleagues were in fact killed. Contracts terminated is what Cerberus called it. Uh, Maketa, Scott, Daniel, Chunhe, uh, and Nika, and so many others I didn't even know about. All of them gone, disappeared without a trace, just like that. We should have left sooner. I don't know uh, why we waited so long. Can't remember what seemed so important that we had to stay just one more day. What was I thinking? Hmm. Maybe, maybe they actually just don't give you this mission. I, I actually see that being the thing. What? You're just hey, sitting there all awkward. You okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. Nothing is more important than finding a way to beat the Reapers. These people are important. Their ideals, their knowledge. Someone needs to fight for them. I don't know. It seems like a waste of your skills. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> it could go both ways. <laughs> How long have you known Bryn? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. 
Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her. You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um... If these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life. Whatever's left of it. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working at a place like this? After we got back, well... Things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. Um, I didn't mean to actually go out of that, so I'm gonna go Where's back. After we got back, clicked on the wrong one. There. And what did all the fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> Right. How long have you known Bren? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. I think I just. Had a lot in common. Asked for my. I think I already. Yeah, yeah, I already talked to him about that. Everything about your father. Wow, what a question. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. I think <laughs> I was expecting more from that. <laughs> I don't know why I was expecting more from that. Cool. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. I was so thrown off that I just sat there expecting him to say something else and then the dialogue things popped up and I went, oh, that's a weird bug. Like I mean, my brain wouldn't even consider the fact that it wasn't like that. He was just giving me a stone wall there. <laughs> I don't know. I was just expecting something more. Uh, personal log. Attempt, att attempts are ongoing at figuring out what the end product of our research was meant for. Well, it's obvious that the delivery system was to be implant re uh, reliant with evident neurological applications. Many questions remain as of yet unanswered. The loss of Dr. Horace Armstrong is particularly, or is, is in particular, is hindering our efforts to speedy re uh, reconstruct the nature of the elusive man's goals. We have several parts of the whole, which leads us to chilling conclusions, but we are nowhere near figuring out uh, what said whole might be. And that is what scares me the most. Let me. I'll purge it and meet you at the shuttle bay. Pretty sure we're going to find out what it was, or at least get a pretty good idea. These civilians had no hope of coming out of this alive. These scientists were fools to work for Cerberus, but at least they had the courage to break away. Yeah, that's that. You know what? That is a good point. That's why we're here to help, right? Ooh, got a Carnifex. Carnifex, good weapon. Pull hard. <laughs> there was nothing to pull there. Should we just do the do, you know what I mean? I need to, I need to hit that. Shoot him in the butt. <laughs> like right in the butt. Oh, let's uh do that to get out of there. I need to reload. Shoot him down. I mean, this shouldn't take us too long to find, right? Oh, engineer. No, no, no. Don't let him do his thing, you know? How did that not kill him? <laughs> well, I killed the other guy with the shotgun, and that didn't do nothing there. Ooh, data pad. Ooh, med kit. I'm gonna leave that data pad for a second. You first, then... Oh, they all died around me. Okay, maybe my team is doing some stuff with their weapons, you know? <laughs> Any more? Are we good? Uh, let's do data pad. Oh, it was just credits. I was expecting to read something. Poo poo to that. Jacob, this should be back online now. Affirmative, but the guns are still down. You'll need to manually activate them. Head back to the front of the facility. More enemies in 
in our path. Okay. Oh wow, they just like super exploded with that biotic explosion. Here. Let's do that, right? We're gonna take out the Centurion. And I'm not really too worried about taking damage here because we're not getting swarmed. We're only fighting like two or three things at a time. Hey, stop it. Bad trooper. Oh my goodness, he went flying. Oh, that was that was rather satisfying, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> hey, you first. <laughs> you never get in a punching fight with freaking Shepard when your Shepard happens to also be... Can I get up this? Is this how you get up? Yeah, I guess it is. When your Shepard also happens to be a Vanguard. Uh, do I? Oh, no, he's just gonna die. <laughs> it wasn't even worth it. Wow, I whiffed so hard there. It's like embarrassingly bad. How did he not? He went flying. I was expecting him to die, okay. Oh, I still haven't reloaded. Wait, where are you going, buddy? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a lot of fun. It always has been. I'm gonna miss this. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I've, I've kind of been thinking about this for the past couple of days. Because I know that we're getting close to... Oh, I can't get up that way. Are you kidding? I actually have to go up and over. Ooh. How annoying. I guess actually... What are you shooting? At? Oh, there, <laughs> there was a guy there. It looked like they were shooting at me. Nope. Turns out they were just shooting in my direction. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about this the past couple of days. Being like, we're so close to the end of this game. I've been doing this series, it uh, feels like, forever. And we're like right at the end. We're literally right at the end of the game. And it's going to be over. And then what happens? Then what do I do? What happens when it's over? I've been doing this for so long. I don't know. It's odd. I actually have to shoot things? No, it's just... <laughs> it gives me the option to get on it, I guess, if I need to. Data pad. More stuff. Of course I have to repair. Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. Uh, Tally again. Tally, repair this ASAP. Right. It makes sense having Liara with us. Just you and me. You bet, Shepard. Like the the amount of oh my goodness, it's rolled. The amount of um damage that her biotic explosions and combinations do with our stuff, it's just too good to, to pass up. We have to use it. Did I mow them out? Did I did I get that um that phantom? I don't know if I did. I think I got that one there. She was definitely dead. She's on the ground. <laughs> I'm working as fast as I can. Can I kill them out of... Oh, they're, they're coming out the other direction, I see. Smart, because otherwise I would just lay them out with bullets. Another phantom there? Yep. Yeah. Not anymore. They're fairly easy. I mean, we are level freaking 60. Think about that. That's kind of... Oh, I was shooting Liara. Sorry, Liara. Friendly fire. Kind of crazy when you think about it. We're level 60. Have I ever been this high of level in Mass Effect 3? I don't know. I had to have been at one point, right? Because I have 100% of this game in the past. What? Who? <laughs> Body flying. It's so funny. Ragdoll physics. Now to bring the guns online. Gotcha. Right. I'm on it. What? Why can't you? Just hit the button. No, I don't understand. Just hit the button. Here. I don't get it. It's right there. The other guns are still down. Let's get over there. Do I have to repair this one too? Or am I just going to push the button in? I'd be really annoyed if I have to repair it. Okay, good. We don't. <laughs> like, that would be way too much. Well done, team. Okay, the guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. But there's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. 
Your call. Uh, I don't have anything behind that I'm leaving behind. All right, let's get these shuttles in the air. This gives you an opportunity to talk to the characters if you had it. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Like, at what point would servers just stop sending things to their death? All right, everyone here, head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here. Here we go. More fighting. Actually, I wasn't expecting more fighting. I was pretty sure that was going to be the, the end of that. Oh, I just shot above his head. It was a warning shot. <laughs> and never come back. You good? Data pad? Did I already look at that data pad? Oh, it's just credits. Okay. Coming. This, this feels like unnecessary. <laughs> this feels like, like they're just giving me things to do in this this mission because it's a Jacob mission go. and we you know we got first so we, can bring the door up, then get we gotta the utilize the actor being here because you don't see much of them right we good oh he's still alive oh this poor guy is like in serious pain <laughs> end me <laughs> That was really funny. I can dig it. That was really funny. Take out that shield generator. Wait, which shield generator? Got it. Finding a position. Oh, am I able to actually get up there? I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I have to wait for him to come down here. Can I not punch the shield generator? I guess not. No. It's not like I can. There we go. Oh, and he went flying through geometry. Oh, this is a fun level. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm having fun with this. Jacob, come in. What's your status? Shepard, the facility's overrun. Cerberus troops are all over the place. One more shuttle of refugees to go, right? Affirmative. We got this. Just need to hold them a little longer. This is pretty easy. This is it, because they stand there for a second. This is like shooting fish in a barrel. And I, I actually remember doing this with the infiltrator too, where they would land on the ground and as they landed, you would just hit them in the head because they they stand there for a second. It's super duper easy. One of the best parts about playing an infiltrator is the the spawn ins. Okay, can we go now? Where's our shuttle? Hello, Atlas. You know, honestly, the um, the incineration rounds are not great about taking the the shield down. But man, once we get to the armor, it's, this is when we do our, all of our damage. Like, <laughs> look at that. It's a little easier to take that one out than the other one. Oh, look, an engineer. Stupid turret, though. Hate the stupid turrets. Okay, that did that. We good? Landing area cleared. This place is crawling. Bring the shuttle to you. Roger that. Okay, now now we can leave. like an odd mix of actual like in in engine footage and like a pre-rendered cutscene that is locked at 30 frames per second <laughs> it's really weird out by the skin of our teeth again hey shepherd 
Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. And now there's something you can do for me. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. If we ever see you, because we can't travel to you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hackett here. If you haven't seen the end of the game, you, you'll you know what I meant. I'm sending you a meant. large team of scientists. In like I four have episodes. A They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. So what we need to do is go check this out. <laughs> See, look, we're still, just, we got so much. We have so much points here. Back. All right, we, we have just a handful more, I think, missions. But we definitely have one more that shows on the map. And then we got to go to the, uh, the Citadel, turn in a bunch of stuff. And then I think that's when I'm going to start the end game. I believe he's in the crew quarters. Oh, I guess I can also go talk to Caden as well. Thank you. 